Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have a special video today, sponsored by Vitruer. They're called the XR Glasses. You guys know I kick off a lot of my live streams with uh, the cool shades and everything, but before we dive into what exactly these do and what they have to do with Switch and maybe even Tears of the Kingdom, I want to remind you guys that we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel as we check out these glasses. So... I have the box here. I don't have the box for the rest of this, but I wanted to show how cool this box is when you open it up because it's just like a really cool <laughs> box opening experience. I got the prices on the screen for you guys. If you want to check them out, we have Eric here to help us today. Eric, why are you here, by the way? Um, to enjoy this process, I guess. See what these are about. Yeah, and we're supposed to have two of them. Yeah. Um, so, okay, look. <laughs> I found one. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, look, you open them up and, and they kind of just look like normal sunglasses a bit, uh, except they're chonky. Uh, there are these optional uh, shade covers if you want to completely black out the background. Not not really necessary, uh, but in certain situations, if there's too much light, maybe outside or something, that might be the case. Uh, but you can kind of see, you know, as Eric puts them on, they look like normal sunglasses from the front. Obviously pretty thick on the top. Uh, you got your lenses underneath and, you know, kind of some thick sides, but they do fit speakers into the sides here. So that's part of the reason they're so thick and they're definitely pretty heavy duty and sturdy. So I have no concerns over them breaking unless you're intentionally trying to break them. You can intentionally break anything. And I don't think you really want to try that, but <laughs> yeah, especially for how much you pay for these. Yeah. Uh, but they come with different nose pieces, which we didn't bring over here. Uh, I've got a different one on. I've just got like the rubber standard, like normal glasses one. And then Eric here, he's got uh, some ones that stick out a bit more. Uh, and there's a bunch of different ones. It's important. You find the right nose piece for you. And uh, basically, we're just going to play some Switch and uh, show you what's up. So to make these work, by the way, you don't just put them on, right? That would be a miracle. You don't even need your Switch, right? So first, you need your Switch. And uh, we'll just take the Joy-Cons off because I don't have... Well, actually, I do have a controller right here. I guess I could use it. Um, so obviously, it gives you the freedom to not play on this. The idea of these glasses are to give you a 120-inch screen, believe it or not, and you can share with a friend. Which is uh, kind of cool. So to do this, let's uh, let's take off the Joy Cons just for fun, just show you guys how compact this can get. Now they have uh, where you can buy the glasses on their own. You can also buy the glasses with the dock, which is what you're going to need to make this work. So this is the uh, little station you hook everything into, but it also comes with this plastic piece to attach to your switch. It's got cutouts for everything, so you can line it all up and easily put it on your switch. It's pretty simple, just like that. And then this docking station is a 13 milliamp hour battery. It's also got cutouts that match with the cutouts on top, and it just slides in. Oops, slides in like that. It's super, super simple. Easy to take apart as well. Uh, just make sure all the ports are lined up. We're good to go. All right, so a few things you're going to need. Uh, one, this cable. Do not lose this cable. It will not potentially work without it because it is a very specialized data transfer cable directly for this to hook it in. In fact, we're not going to hook that up quite yet because I want to show you guys that it does work that way. First, let's turn the switch on, connect my controller. <laughs> nice. Anyways, as you can see, the switch is up now. Tears of the Kingdom, let's go back to the home menu. And then when we plug this in, give it a moment, and it'll go away just like it's in docked mode. Boom. Now it is in docked mode. Now, next, you're going to need a wire for your glasses. So here's one for Eric. Here's one for me. These wires do come with the glasses, so don't worry. They're not extra or anything because these are not wireless glasses. But for stuff like this, you probably wouldn't want it to be because the battery wouldn't last very long. Now, there is this magnetic part that attaches right here. And put this on and give it a moment. You got nice little uh, adjusters up on top, yep, too. Yeah, I for, actually have to adjust it because it's going to mess with them. For your eyes. They're little, ah, there we go. Twist got wheels it. here. Yep, So, Watch and up. they also sell a version uh, for prescription glasses. So there's a different lens that goes on the on the back side here, but I didn't get that version because I, I can just wear contacts. It's not a big deal. With that being said, we can just kind of go in here and... And, and play a game. I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom. Apparently, I'm in a cave somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm in the Goron area. Good thing you guys can't see this. So yeah, right. what's really interesting, of course, is they do have the built-in speakers, which I got to say sound really good. They do. Like, really, really good. Like it, eh, Almost as good as wearing headphones. Uh, it is possible. There is a little noise bleed because I have to switch at max volume. Uh, so people around you can hear it just a smidge but not really in a way that I feel is too annoying. Maybe if they sat next to you on an airplane, they'd want you to turn the volume down. I don't know. Uh, also, if you notice, you can see these little lights on the front of the shades. This is actually what's being projected to my eyes, but that's all the outside world sees. 
And you can change modes to make it a bit more transparent. So you can still sort of see what's going on. Not that I would walk around playing the game while wearing these. Right. Uh, but you can see a little bit. You can see enough to know if you're going to hit someone. Uh, so it, useful in situations like on a plane, waiting at a bus stop, stuff like that. So you can still tell the bus is coming. Um, you just need to remember to get up and not get so immersed in the game. Like, I don't want to go too deep into the game because when I do, I tend to get lost and this video becomes an hour long. <laughs> so, right, right. so first off, Eric, this is now your second, third time getting to use these. Tell me, what's your favorite part about these things? Because it's, I think it's pretty sick. Ooh, I, I mean, just the the convenience of not having to. If I'm like in my bedroom and I don't have a TV, which I do, but even then, it's not projected Dude, on my, ce- it's on not on my ceiling. It's not on my ceiling. I can uh, lay in a more comfortable position and yes. and definitely just game out. It's I I didn't like how like the the screen that it was a size of 120. I didn't I didn't think it was that. It but. Uh, at first, but now the more I wear it, it's it's actually it takes up a huge part. Yeah, of your it vision. does. It, yeah. it really does. I can kind of, I guess, see how it is that. Um, but no, I, these things are phenomenal. Um, I wish I had a pair. Yeah, the color <laughs> accuracy is really great. Uh, you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's HDR. But I, the switch doesn't output HDR anyway, so you wouldn't be able to tell that. It just it, it looks so crisp and so it, it, it's a such a really unique and interesting product in the marketplace. Uh, I think to get the exact set we have here is about a grand. Uh, that's with the two glass two glasses set with the dock. Uh, we also had got the extra dock for Steam Deck, which I think comes with the grand version, but we didn't. We, we don't have a Steam Deck to test this, but we did get the dongle that, that tests it with phones, and that seemed to work pretty well for Eric yesterday. I think uh, most of the docks on that have to do with potentially the desktop version of your phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I tested this on a different device and it didn't have the problems we had. So yeah, I think that's really just weird. Yeah. Samsung's desktop app isn't necessarily the greatest so no but it, it, but it, it works the Brewers game looked really freaking awesome oh the brewers <laughs> game looked great and yeah so that's another thing too like with this dock it has an hdmi port on it and with that hdmi port uh you could plug in a playstation 5 and do this with it if you want you could plug in a roku stick and just like watch netflix chilling in bed or on uh on a plane when you know you got your significant other or a friend you guys want to watch the same movie you don't want to look at the tiny screen you want a more immersive experience this could provide that for you uh it's it's a really interesting product and in fact one of the very first things he said before we hit record was uh hey i'm taking this with the dock with me when i leave um so, so <laughs> he just wants to use it even more uh it, it's it's just such a really cool product that can be used in many situations now uh one thing to show you guys it doesn't show very well on camera but um you can actually see maybe <laughs> see i told you it's a really the screen is so hard to show you guys it is um but it's actually projecting at you from um up there and then it comes through right there and again it's very hard to show let me get these super close to the lens and see if you guys can tell So yeah, and then obviously they have the shade part where you can completely black it out, and this gives you more uh, definitely like a movie theater experience. Gets rid of the transparency, <laughs> but man, I mean, you turn the lights off in the studio, and I can just sit here all day playing Tears of the Kingdom just like this. Uh, it's really really cool. And again, I don't want to I don't want to go much further in here to spoil things for Eric. He hasn't done any of the dungeons yet. That's fine. Like, see, Whatever. what are these guys? Yeah, who are these? What's yeah. up? He has no idea. What is this? He'll find out after the dungeons. Uh, yeah, but. Right. Yeah, it's it's such a, a, a interesting experience. So yeah, the, these uh, virtual glasses are, are are pretty sweet, and it's so cool that you can do it with two people. Two people seems to be the max right now, but that's awesome. Like we can play Mario Kart together, we can play Smash Bros together, we can watch movies together. Uh, if I want to show him something, I don't have to necessarily take my glasses off to show him what I'm doing in the game. He could just hook yeah. up the second pair. But yeah, it, it's an incredible experience, and I think for the niche market that could really want that 120 inch movie theater experience in different sleeping positions or you know in, in 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 when you're waiting around the bus if you do a lot of transit and stuff like that this could be a really useful option for playing your switch your steam deck uh watching movies stuff like that so uh, i think it's an excellent product i don't think it's too expensive for a single person uh getting it for two people well, it's a little bit up there but you can check out the Vitual one xr glasses down in the description using our link be sure to use code nintendo prime at checkout to get 10 percent off your order and man i'm really glad i have these anytime i want to kick back and watch the big screen (laughs) 